There's no denying that this year's federal budget is a pre-election budget. It appeals to anyone who drives on a road, pays tax, or drinks craft beer, which most of us do. The highlight of the budget is personal income tax cuts, which should see more money in the pockets of the vast majority of Australians. More money in people's pockets means more money being spent in business, circulating in the economy, which is good for everybody. Specifically for business is the continuation of the government's corporate tax cuts plan. Although they still have some challenges in the upper house to get that through for big business. For smaller business is the continuation of the instant asset write-off for businesses with a turnover of less than $10 million for any assets of $20,000 or less. There's also incentives for employment and cross-skilling of older workers, but we do have some concerns around changes to R&D tax incentives, which we're looking into in more detail. For South Australia, and the main highlight is the $1.8 billion in new infrastructure spend. Continuation of the North-South Corridor upgrade and duplication of the Joy Bullock Bridge, which Business SA has been calling for for a number of years and which will assist and help South Australia's exporters get their goods to market quicker, easier and safer. There's also the electrification of the Gawler rail line. Business SA would have liked to have seen more budget structural repair. As the budget is driven by an uptick in revenue, the government is forecasting for a lot to go right and not much to go wrong. 